The UN has a, an important but distinctly secondary role in the elections. The primary role in the elections belongs with the Afghans. Uh, and that's for good reason, because uh, they are going to have to manage their elections uh, on their own uh, going forward. We do our best to promote the participation of uh, women, to put it high on the list of the to-dos for the electoral management bodies, to reach out to women, to make them feel secure, to provide the arrangements in which they will feel secure in a highly insecure environment uh, to go out and vote. We've seen the turnouts at the rallies and the engagement in the public debates on a level not seen before in Afghanistan. So on the one hand we have a, a much greater interest in the outcome of the election, a much greater stated intention to vote, and then we have the unknown factor which is the extent to which people have been spooked by the uh, incidents in Kabul itself. What is going to be critical for this chronically aid-dependent country is to sustain the levels of international interest, support, financial assistance, and more uh, over the next decade. I think that very often there's an image which is used to describe uh, Afghanistan which is on the edge of a precipice. I don't think that's accurate. I think we should rather see it as a steep hill. وزیگه از رئیس جمهور آینده از این مملکت بسیار تقاضا در مران کسی که انتخاب میشه از دهیم از این کشور است برای افغانستان خدمت صادقانه و دل سوزانه بکنه کی وطن از این مصیبت از این درد و غم که در سی دهه گذاشته پشت سر گذاشتنده این روز برای جوان ها برای تماما قشن از این وطن کار پیدا شده و ما از جای بسیار خشبختی است که ما تانیسیم ساعتی را برای انتخابات خدمان بگیریم و توسط روی ما باید را به با مردم دنیا ثابت بسازیم که یعنی افغان ها هر کاری را میتونند و این انتخابات چون انتخابات شفاف, و شفاف است حالا ببین اگر ما رای نتیم و اینکه برو خیر است بانش هیچی چیز به دشمن افغانستان موقع میتون